Okay. And I'm back. Okay. So, um, awesome. Let's move on. I can't, this review can't be this long. I am loving the new Dino Warrior series from Imaginext. I have the mini characters from the series. They uh, are dinosaurs and they have warriors with them. I've already did the medium size sets. The smaller size sets are now available at walmart.com. I have not seen them in stores yet. I believe a couple of them are available at fisherprice.com right now. I'm not going to split up the videos. I'm going to review them all. And like I said, I'm really excited. They're so awesome. I'm just going to go ahead and open them. Let's go. The first one we're going to look at is Stegosaurus. Imagine X has had larger Stegosauruses, but this is like a baby one. And it comes with a boulder and a warrior. And here's some of the other sets that you can get. And it shows you how the action feature works and gives you a little description of who's launching exciting prehistoric adventures. All right, let's get it open. First, I will show you the dinosaur. So his legs don't move. This is the most like a McDonald's toy that I have yet to encounter. It, like, just because this is all solid. Well, these are soft, but, and then the action feature is this. Kind of McDonald's toy, made a little bit better. The, like, the rubber on it is a good touch. Well, there's no articulation except for the tail, which is within the action feature because of the button on the side. And you put the boulder, which has some weight to it, actually. It's heavy. In the tail. And you bring it. I don't know if I'm getting that back. Here it is. All right, so orange lava-like boulder. It's translucent. You can see the connecting joint inside. That's nice. Let's move on to the figure. It comes with a stegosaurus. And he comes with his headdress already on. He's got like a diaper loincloth thing. He has the same articulation as every Imaginex figure is shoulders are on ball joints and his wrists swivel and his head is articulated and his legs move in unison and of course he's got the Imaginex eye on his ankle is a in color that's a new thing this year for 2015 you can take a look at his war paint on his face which it kind of looks like a mistake. His nose is covered up. He's got a top knot. That's cool. He's got sandals on. He's an awesome looking figure. And this headdress is quite extravagant. He's awesome. I, I love him. He's not wearing a shirt. It's not necessary all the time. All right, so let's move on. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I know this dinosaur. It's like the crocodile alligator dinosaur. Saharacus. Saharacus. I think that is right. And awesome. Here is his warrior friend. He does not have his headdress on yet. I love this guy on the side who's bouncing around. And it tells you on the back, it gives you a description. And it shows you his action pan, shows you some more of uh, the characters and play sets that are available. Open. Oh, again, does remind me of a McDonald's toy because it's like this solid one piece. Oh, his mouth has articulation though, which is really, really cool. But look, you can see his hinge in his mouth. His cannon that he comes with has like teeth down the side, which is interesting. And it's got that Imaginex logo there. His jaw is the only articulation. Now let's try the sphere. Oh, it wasn't what I thought. I thought when I took this out that it was going to be that staff because his headdress looks the same. So that would have been cool if they made this also a staff that you could stick in his hand. Um, so we'll move, I'm moving on to the character. 
he's got an, a really cool necklace and his face paint is great. He also has a bun and he isn't wearing any shoes. He's barefoot. I like his ankle things. I'm gonna have to get some of those. Since these I have been looking at necklaces in the store, I think I may start rocking big, chunky necklaces. Oh, the other guy has the same or a similar headdress. Is this, is this the one? Is this? The same as this. I don't know, but I really want that staff. I hope that comes with a character. There is a giant playset that is now available at Toys R Us, and it's huge. It's a two and a half foot dinosaur. It is giant, and it's a playset, and it oh, it's incredible. Definitely. Don't know if I'll get that. I'll probably get it when it goes on sale. We'll see. We'll we'll see. The giant space station that was on wheels that was huge just went on clearance in Canada online and it was $30. Like that's incredible down from like 110, 115. Yeah, I don't know. Cause it's going to take up a lot of space. All right back to this guy. Okay. So how he looks without a stuff on. Oh yeah, we did that. I like his uh, painted on skeleton, sunken in face eyes really cool and his mouth so he's got a skeleton face and he can put on his headdress which may or may not be the one that is featured on the box cover and oh i like how his face sticks out there awesome now the missile actually it's not a staff it's a missile for this action feature this reptile alligator crocodile type character and I'm gonna try this. I don't wanna lose it, so I'm gonna hold up my hand. I lost it anyway. That shoots really far. We are now going to look at the pterodactyl. So all orange in this. Orange dino, orange headdress. The back of this card looks like this. See, you can see this two and a half feet tall. That's right, it's ginormous. That's his action feature, and here is his write up. Are you ready for high flying prehistoric adventures? Okay, I'm gonna open it up. Much smaller than the last pterodactyl that they issued. I'm gonna start with the figure this time. He is mostly dressed in red. He's got some orange sandals on, red matching bracelets and necklace. And he also has a top bun. Very common when you're a warrior. And yeah, he's got the Imaginex logo on there. Didn't see that on the other guy. Yeah, he has it on his ankle bracelet. All right, so he is really cool looking. His headdress is quite monstrous. It's high and it has all kinds of horns. I think that's what they're called. If you know what they're, they call the horns on dinosaurs, let me know in the comments below. And I like his Imaginex logo on his chest. Actually, it's not. It's something else that I can't make out. It's a scarab or a lamp or a light. It's cool. There's a lot of detail. A lot of pattern, a lot of detail. There's the eye right there, I think. Do I, am I keep seeing things? My eyesight's not so good. The cavemen don't wear glasses, so I'm not wearing glasses. He has orange sandals on to match his headdress. His dino, which this is definitely the best one yet, has leg articulation, which is good. He has a joint here, but it's not, his tail is not articulated. His head is articulated, goes side to side. And his action feature is this button on the top and his wings flap, which is super cool. And I guess what, he, what can happen here is if this guy's sitting around, the pterodactyl can come on down, he can go and he can hang on to his arms and grab a hold of the little guy that he sees and then pick him up and fly him away. Fly him away. The action feature, really cool. It's a great looking dinosaur, very well made. So definitely my favorite dinosaur so far. Not like a McDonald's toy at all. But these are small sets. They retail for around $8 so, and they will be cheaper at places like Walmart, probably seven or something. They are good value for what is offered. So this one is the, oh boy the Velociraptor. 
I think that is how you pronounce it. All right, so this is what his box looks like. His guy is in there. Again, he's got some scary face paint. On the back, it shows you some more. We opened up some of these already. You can see another one is back there. It's the big one. Here is a description and his action feature. Let's take a look at this guy in depth. Oh, okay. There's some McDonald's-ness going on. Unfortunately, none of them came with staffs like this guy. I really want that staff. I don't know what place that it comes with. I might get that two and a half foot thing if I know that that staff actually can't really make it out. But that guy has a staff. See, that could be that could be the one. They might be making me get that set by including that figure. It's really cool. It's like Skeletor staff. Let's take a look at this one. This guy, I like when they do this. Two unmatching bracelets. Opposite on his anklets. Ankle bracelets, there's that logo. And he has that bun again. And scary skeleton face paint with his voodoo necklace. Really awesome. I like his shorts. I would wear this outfit. I am wearing this outfit. His headdress is like that of a bull. Look at the detail. You can see its backbone. And that's incredible. That is really super. And see how the shoulders are different on one side than the other. One side is a skull and the other side is like a backbone spikes. I love these. These are so incredible. Dino Warriors. It does compromise his articulation. I didn't mention, but all of the figures have the same articulation. Ball joints and the shoulders swivel throughout the wrist and the legs move in unison so they can sit down. Fantastic headdress. This thing does stop the articulation in this shoulder. It'll pop his headdress off. This one moves pretty good. You can't put his arm straight up where it pushes his headdress off. This would be more for, you know, if you were doing a ceremony. When you're in battle, you're gonna get loose. You know, like when you're doing a toy review, you wanna make sure that you're comfortable and that, yeah, that you can move around. So you don't wanna be restrained by your fancy outfits. He seems to be the first one that can ride his dinosaur. Comes with a saddle. He has a saddle. Let's look at him before I put him on. See how his legs are hollow on the inside. These are not articulated. It's nice though for them to include a dinosaur and figure in one of the smaller sets. We're used to seeing the DC superheroes in this size and the same price. So it is nice that you get a dinosaur and a figure. So I can't really complain. So they did have to cut back an articulation to do that because they all do have action features. But that being said, it is quite reminiscent of a McDonald's toy. His action feature is you press the back of the saddle and his mouth opens and he has great detail in his mouth. The tongue looks really good. I should read the back to see if I'm missing press the button chopping action so he's chomping he's a chomper and his arms move and they move quite a bit actually some of the best arm articulation on an upright dinosaur we've had so far from them usually their little arms just move a little bit i like the action feature and so if I look behind there's a skull so they went to the trouble of putting a skull in even though you can't see it at the front of the saddle because of his head's up there so you can't even see it so that's detail even though it is hollow on the back now let's put the guy on here there's a peg for him to step on his dinosaur will ride him around i don't know which one my favorite would be it's interesting i'll show you two of them are like identical oh are they identical so slightly different necklaces so slightly different and then we have this other tribe and they're more of a white skeleton tribe at some point i will take a look at all of the figures perhaps they're in conflict with one another i don't know I hope this didn't go too long. I really, really like these warrior dinosaurs and I can't wait to see more. And there's a playset and there's also the giant two and a half foot dinosaur and it's a playset and oh, and, and it's, it's everything. It does so many things. So uh, that is my review of the Imaginex Dino Warriors, the small sets. Like I said, you can get them at walmart.com right now. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.
We'll see you next time. Ah! <sighs>